Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss knapsack algorithm and analysis in dynamic programming. In the previous session, we have discussed what is knapsack algorithm and how to implement it and how to implement using dynamic programming technique. We have solved the problems also. So now we will discuss the knapsack algorithm in dynamic programming and also analysis. So the aim of the knapsack problem is to find the optimal solution using dynamic programming technique. And here the inputs are nothing but n represents the number of objects to be selected to add it into the knapsack bag. Okay. And m is representing the capacity of knapsack. That is what is the maximum capacity we can able to fill the objects. That is represented by m. And W is nothing but weight of each object. W1 represents the first object weight. W2 represents the second object weight. Likewise, W commonly it will represent the weight of specific object. Similarly, P represents the profit of specific object. That is P1 represents profit of first object. P2 represents profit of second object likewise. Okay. So, these are all the input should be given prior in knapsack problem. And the output of your considering in the sense, V represents the optimal solution for the number of objects to be selected and placed it into the knapsack with specified remaining capacity. That is, it should not exceed the maximum capacity of the knapsack. Yeah. Okay. So, we have to select and place the object into the knapsack such that it has to maximize the profit and it should not exceed the maximum capacity of the knapsack. That is nothing but the optimal solution. And this is the algorithm. So, here we have used two for loops. The first for loop condition is i equal to 0 to n. This is the outer for loop. And the inner for loop condition is j equal to 0 to n. So, if both the outer for loop and the inner for loop condition is true in the sense, control will be transferred to this if state. And here, check the condition if i equal to 0. That is the number of objects given as 0 or the maximum capacity is 0. If the objects is not given in the sense, we cannot able to select any object to place it into the knapsack. So, in that case also profit is 0. That is V of i comma j. The profit or the optimal solution is 0. Otherwise, suppose if the capacity they have given 0 in the sense. In that case, we cannot able to add any object into the knapsack. Okay. Since the capacity is 0, in both the cases, either i equal to 0, object they have not given, or the maximum capacity is 0 in the sense. If any one of the cases 0 in the sense, the profit v of i comma j equal to 0. Else, if w of i, that is the weight of the particular object, is greater than the maximum capacity. So, if it is greater in the sense, what we can do? We cannot able to place that object into the knapsack. So, we cannot able to consider that object to add it into the knapsack. So, in that case, V of i comma j equal to V of i minus 1 comma j. That is, we are not adding that particular object into the knapsack and we are not considering that particular profit. Okay. This is the reflection of previous step only. Previous step, what is the profit we have calculated? That itself we have to continue here. Okay. We have to exclude this object since its weight exceeds the maximum capacity. Okay. Else meaning in the sense W of i is less than or equal to j. Okay. Otherwise, if the weight of the object is equal to remaining capacity of knapsack in the sense, in that case also we can able to add that object into the knapsack. So, in this case, we have to calculate the profit using this recurrence relation. That is V of i comma j equal to max of V of i minus 1 comma j comma V of i minus 1 comma j minus w i plus p l. Okay. Either we have to consider the previous term. Okay. Or otherwise by adding this particular object profit, if you are getting the optimal solution, we have to consider this solution. Which one is maximum? Previous step itself, we got the maximum solution in the sense that solution we can consider or otherwise in this particular step, profit of this particular object after adding, we are getting the maximum solution in the sense we can consider this one. So, 
which one is maximum that we will consider. Okay. In case wi is less than or equal to g. Okay. So, this is the knapsack algorithm to find the optimal solution using dynamic programming technique. Okay. Next step. Analysis for knapsack problem using dynamic programming. Step 1. The parameter here to be considered is n and m. So, n is representing the number of objects and m is representing the maximum capacity of the knapsack. So, these two parameters always we need to consider. And the basic operation if you are considering in the sense, computing v of i comma j equal to maximum of v of i minus 1 comma j comma v of i minus 1 comma j minus w i plus p i. Okay. So, this recurrence relation only most of the time will be executed. So, the basic operation we will consider this recurrence relation i equal to 0 or j equal to 0 in the sense that this we will consider only at the first step. Okay. Next, w of i greater than j, the remaining capacity in the sense, this case also we won't consider most of the time. Only this recurrence relation that is w of i is less than or equal to j. This condition only we will encounter most of the time. Okay. So, we need to execute this recurrence relation only most of the time. So, we will consider the basic operation as this recurrence relation only. Okay. So, the total number of times the basic operation is executed can be obtained as. So, what is the outer for loop? For i equal to 0 to n and the inner for loop for j equal to 0 to n. Okay. So, these two are the important conditions we need to check. Okay. Then, if this condition is true in the sense, we have to use this if statement. That is, if i equal to 0 or j equal to 0, this we have to check it. Okay. And then we have to check w of i is greater than j. Okay. So, this two conditions if you are considering in the sense, this won't execute most of the time. Okay. This is it. Most of the time, which one will be executed in the sense? W of i is less than or equal to j. This is the condition it will execute most of the time. So, in this case, the recurrence relation is v of i comma j equal to maximum of v of i minus 1 comma j or v of i minus 1 comma j minus w i plus p i. So, this is the recurrence relation most of the time we will execute. Okay. So, if you are considering the conditions for this one, f of n comma y. So, these are all the parameters we need to consider. Equal to summation i equal to 0 to n. The outer for loop condition is i equal to 0 to n. And the inner for loop condition is j equal to 0 to m. Okay. So, if these two conditions are true in the sense, this recurrence relation, how many times it will execute? Only one. The basic operation, it will execute only once. So, here we have to consider one. Okay. So, now we will write it here. So, summation i equal to 0 to n. And this, if you are solving in the sense, upper bound minus lower bound plus how many times the basic operation executes. That is the formula. Okay, so upper bound is m, m minus lower bound value is j equal to 0 plus how many times the basic operation executes? Only once. Okay, so here we will get it. Summation i equal to 0 to n, m plus 1 we will get it. Okay, so now we will apply the limits for this one also. So, m plus 1 into upper bound minus lower bound. Upper bound is n minus lower bound is 0 plus how many times the basic operation executes? Only once. So, here m plus 1 into n plus 1. Okay. So, if you are solving this one in the sense we will get m n plus m plus n plus 1. Okay, so finally we will get it M N. The order we will get it as M N. 
for larger value of m and n. Okay. So, what is the time complexity we will get it? So, the time complexity if you are considering in the sense that this theta into m n. So, this is the time complexity of this knapsack problem using dynamic programming technique. So, now we have discussed with the knapsack algorithm and analysis. In the next session, we will discuss the algorithm to find the optimal solution with one example. Thank you for watching this video.